the story. This mission will pick me. Wait, pick me bloom. I don't care about pick me bloom. The demo version is complete once you collect 1500 units of sparkling and finish exploring for the day. You can import your save data from the demo to the full version of the game. Okay, oh, it's a two player game. Okay. So it's a two player game. How many players are there? In co op mode, player two supports player one. Player two supports with player one with simple targeted controls using a pebble pitcher. The pebble pitcher. I don't know what it is. I'm using the controller, so we'll see. Sounds like Mario Galaxy two-player mode. Captain Olimar. Wind, wind, Jero, Nuru, the door pin. This is the story of how I crashed into an unknown planet. Dimarasto, and how I was ultimately rescued. Both daily. Sound like a Sam's character. Where else, my kid? Spari Posur, Lapa. Brooklyn, strange species, which I named Pikmin. What the hell is this thing stuttering so damn much? It's lagging. Yeah. It is. I don't know why. It seems like it's straight now. It's, it's probably just like certain parts. Yeah, that's the game itself. I don't know what the hell. That's the demo itself acting like that. It's like it'll straighten out and then it'll just start lagging again. This area is different from the others we've explored so far. This dude landed in Toy Story. Hey, where are you running off to? Yo, did it end up straightening itself out? Son, the Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I have to call him back while I search for the missing ship parts. Okay. 
I saw some of the Pikmin headed this, head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up on pup strength. I just need to press X and hold down. And hold down. Press X and hold down. Then take aim. When she's at full strength, let her go and show a rush. Somebody's gonna get blamed for that. I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me on my whistle. I just wish I knew why Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. I better take a note of this on my voyage log. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. How to freeze it. When I arrived this area, it started acting strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find myself. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll keep looking for them and call them back with my whistle. I need to find my missing ship parts, but I'll be much easier if I can have the more Pikmin to help me. Show. Oh, it's a boss. A creature. I don't see any ship parts. That could be a, could it be that thing swallowed one whole? Those spiky things are gonna make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use rush rush to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is up. In the meantime, let this let's circle and wait for a chance to strike. Radio. We located it at last. This is, 
this the demo this the demo for it with this back in my possession I can finally call for help yeah this is Pikmin 4 this is the Pikmin 4 demo This thing lags. I don't know, I don't know why these cutscenes lag, but it is what it is. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. I extracted the latest version of my voyage and I attached the latest voyage. Days and weeks passed, but a month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. Took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. That's not me lagging. I guess maybe it got something to do with the stream or something. I don't know. Rescue officer left at the rescue rescue, a rookie. You. That's right, you are my last hope. Okay, so we gotta rescue Olimar. So Pikmin 4 is gonna be about rescuing Olimar. Following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed rescue corps is now your type priority. HRID badge. Oh. I don't know if I like that, but. <laughs> don't he look grungy? I'm going with the spike here. Some of these look just funny as hell. I'm going with this one because he looks surprised. I kind of like the spiky hair. I'm going with the spiky hair. Green. Keep it red. Blue suit. Keep the red suit. Formula, show me name. Yep. Okay. The rescue corps new officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. This dude look high as hell. I got this character looking high. Like he took some shrooms or something. Even all starry eyed as you. He's all starry eyed and like bugged out. Searching a mission, missing rescue officer. It's on a search and rescue mission. There's a dog. Otachi. 
This young loyal rescue pup is one of a one of an elite breed of space dogs that serve the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. You'll encounter the rescue corps rescue pup Otachi. The six remaining officers are still out there somewhere. Oh, there's a the one We found someone that needed rescuing. Like the stars, I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached. So you and Otachi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Otachi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. My name is Colin, communications operator for the rescue corps. He's handy with a wrench. Okay. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps' comms operator. That's one down. Now, where could the other rescue officers be? <laughs> my path got cut off from when well, my hunger became unbearable, so I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? Well, hey. I couldn't be more grateful for you for you rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the Rescue Corps, well, <laughs> it was rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no. Oh well, yes. I spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There are six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we were ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, but whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that our spaceship is SS Shepard landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find it. On our way back. And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an it's, it's an official rescue tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness, I always carry an extra. Tap up on on the left side to open up the review your missions. Mira. Okay. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps here to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, remember that you can always tap up on review missions. Press minus to select a shortcut settings. You can assign different shortcut buttons. Pussy. Now then, let's go find the SS here. There's a space bar. It's the SS Shepard. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. That's it. I see the big hole in the, in the ground over there. If only we could find a way there. We could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd.
It's a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good purple Tachi, you make it easier for the Lord and all that boat. Almost there. You can see why the rescue pups are the rescue corps, rescue corps pride and joy. Huh, this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Otachi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. It's pretty deep. Looks like we're going to have to dive right in. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Here we go. It does look pretty dark down there. Oh, Boro of Beginnings. Sub level one. Hey, what is it, Otachi? You're trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. The terrified individual over there you see is one of our rescue corps team members. Hello? Look sharp. The captain comes from a long line. <laughs> this is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. Oh, wow. oh. Hit the pole. Some Pikmin or something. Come on. I guess we're going to have to rush it. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on for so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. No. Oh, I haven't seen seen you since rookie training camp. I'm, I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. No, sir. Did you order Otachi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself? Otachi's not supposed to obey, any, obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you make a top-notch dog trainer. Shepard. 99th Gen Generation Rescue Corps. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. And there's the captain. We found Shepard. With the captain here, it feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what are you doing down here anyway? While exploring on the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I, I wandered around its cage trying to find an exit when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. What? Hang on, did you fall down in a hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered the cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well, what are we here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Is something wrong? You didn't say anything. Copy that as the rescue 
Korra's way of saying understood. Let's try seeing it together. Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, we need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for upcoming missions. It's essential for our work. them via your tablet as the need arises so put them to good use while out in the field since i'm touching you have bonded i officially approve of your partnership i'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup partner rescue part That's where we fell in. Our uh, word. To think you survived the fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Excuse me, Formula. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. I completely agree, though. In this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. All right, Captain, the rescue course flag is officially, is officially planted. Now for the status report on all the cave activities we located in rescued one castaway and no other individuals were found during our search noted let's consider the investigation in the cave complete i hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges and inherits our work there are lives depending on us but you both did good work today well done i guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue her captain herself Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did something new happen with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. Good for you, did. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd. You play Pikmin mobile game too? I didn't know Pikmin had a mobile game. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Hmm. <laughs> Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. Yeah, huh? And that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. Oh, what? Oh no, will it be okay? Well, hey. It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship energy stores are now completely empty. Mom. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. <laughs> Not necessarily. I think I saw someone in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may be useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Found treasure. After a thorough investigation of shiny objects on this planet, I have deducted, I have deduced, they must contain sparkling. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must be to remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. In layman's terms, she would be able to extract sparkling from the sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepherd, those objects are truly nothing short of real life treasures. I'm skeptical, but at, but at this point, we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. 
So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Copy that. Apparently, apparently sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can to restart the SS Shepherd. Once we collect the treasure, we'll need to transport it. For that, we'll use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Mm, what's that over there? Watch out! So shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. Looks like a perfect spot for the base of operations. Call the ship over. This is Beagle Re repositioning Bravo. successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Oh, so we're looking for anything shiny. Oh. What's this thing? I think it is. It has to be the treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. Alright, rookie. Press. Press up. To open a radar map. Oh, plus. The spark alone confirmed that in the center represents treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map if there's any treasure in your area. Excellent work. I'm going to take the suspicious art start as a good sign, but um, how are we going to move it? treasure is large. How can we physically co collect something this big? Daddy. The ship uses a special type of light ray to miniaturize objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with, a, with the sensors on my SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the right type of energy we need. If we collect 250 more units of sparkle, we might be able to restart the SS Shepherd. No. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get the, get it to run on sparkle alone, though it may be a bumpy ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Oh. We may need to search the area for more treasure. All right, good. Search the area for more treasure. Is that a Game Boy Pocket? One of the items is a damn Game Boy Pocket. Ain't this some shit. A Game Boy Advance yeah, SP. No. The one that goes in the damn pocket. Wow. Oh, bunch. Oh, I think that's the Pikmin. That's a treasure. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? 
It looks like a plant. Could this be the captain, the thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voice line? It's called an onion. If this is an onion, then where is, then what is that sprout? Captain Olimar voyage long. They're friendly and helpful creatures. Very well, then maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Look at that. Ota Ochi's. I keep saying Otachi, but Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well. Hmm. Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? Oh, them caps give us more pigment. Oh, that's dope. So they got objects that give us more pigment, so they're not just gonna be available. Like that. Red seedling like that, called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it'll create more pigment. What a mysterious life form. So take soda caps. Out. That's supposed to be a skateboard wheel. 
Oh, that's a bike bell. I couldn't figure out what that was. That's a bike bell. You make a fantastic combination. You nailed it that time. Of course, this isn't quite the right occasion for copy that. But definitely. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move, work like rescue tiny rescue pups. Now's the time to extract energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted or flow directly into the SS Shepherd. Game Boy SP. Bike Bell. And then Fork. A fork. So the spaceship is a garbage disposal. Or a landfill. SS Shepard is running. We were started the SS Shepard using sparkling extracted from the treasure. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent Colin booting up to see if we can pick up any signals. Picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. And when we don't have a moment to lose, time to get rescued. Come on. Like, that's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. We encounter unknown objects and elements in our mission all the time so I had their naming stone of advance a while wait hold on path creator stone of advancement and noble biden so a fork a game boy so a fork is called a biden a game boy sp is called a stone of advancement <laughs> and a and a and a and a bicycle uh bell is um is a path creator interesting Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. Yeah, huh. It's neat, but a backup power source may might have been more helpful. Right. Uh, if only he knew. <laughs> I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing, billowing out of the SS Shepard. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were fine in our pairs. It's been rough. It's been roughing it for a long, long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin. We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. Yeah, no. I counted our stock three times and then we can do it again. Huff. Excellent plan. Now tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest. But don't forget to review your mission before hitting the bed. Ochi! Oh, so a clear pen. I guess I don't need to tell you that it's an easy selecting a mission person and pin it. Okay. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objective's progress. 